To use the features shown in this video you will need to use EverWeb 4.0 or higher, for Mac OS or Microsoft Windows. The new Global Styles feature in EverWeb 4.0 makes setting up default font styles and color palettes for your site easy and flexible. You can define all of the text styles and colors that you want to use in your EverWeb project file in one place. Setting up your styles using Global Styles should be one of the first things you do when you create a new website project file. If you already have a project file, you can still use Global Styles in the existing pages of your site. In this video, we are going to create global text styles and document colors. To access Global Styles, open your project file, if you have not done so already. Then go to the Format, Default Styles, Menu option. In the top left-hand corner of the Global Styles dialog box are the project file's default settings. These settings are found in all versions of EverWeb. They set the default font family, font size, and color for text boxes. It is also where you set up defaults for shape objects and hyperlinks. If you change these settings, they will only be applied to any new object you create. To the right of the default settings is preferred fonts. Preferred fonts are used by the styled text editor, which is found in widgets such as the text section and flexbox widgets. By default, this column is filled with nine web safe fonts. You can add fonts to the list by selecting the font and font style that you want from the drop down menus below the list of fonts. Then clicking on the Add button. As with all list boxes in EverWeb, you can move the fonts in the list by dragging the font from its current location and dropping it where you want it in the list. To delete a font, first select the font you want to delete, then press the backspace key. If you have used a font that you have deleted, the text will default back to Arial. When finished, click on Save. In the second row of settings are the defaults for paragraph styles. You can apply paragraph styling to text boxes, text in the styled text editor in some of EverWeb's widgets, or text in blog posts. By default, there are eight predefined paragraph styles. Double click on the name of a paragraph style to change its name. Edit the name, then press Enter to finish. Click once on the paragraph style to manage its properties. For example, click on Secondary Body to select it. Next, use the font settings in the middle column to change the styling of the selected paragraph style. EverWeb also features scalable text for text boxes. To implement this for your paragraph style, set the minimum font size you want to scale down to using the Minimum Font Size field at the bottom of the middle column. For example, first set the font size of the selected paragraph style to 24 point. Then set the minimum size that you want the font to be able to scale down to using the minimum font size field. For example, 16 point. When you save these settings, then use the paragraph style, EverWeb will smoothly scale the text for you. When setting up a paragraph style, you can set up a backup font if your main paragraph style font is not available. We recommend using either a web safe font or a Google font. To add a new paragraph style, click on the plus button below the paragraph style section. Enter the name of the new paragraph style, then press enter when done. Customize the new paragraph style using the font section in the middle column and add backup fonts if required. Click on save when finished. To delete a paragraph style, click on the paragraph style, then click on the minus button. If the paragraph style being deleted is used in your site, you will be asked to select another paragraph style to replace the one you are deleting. Check out our video on paragraph styles to learn how to use the paragraph styles and preferred fonts that you have set up as global styles. EverWeb lets you define default settings for the colors that you use in your site's pages. Document Colors is where you define your site's color palette. If for example, you are setting the page background color, you can click on the color swatch in the page background section of the page settings tab. You will see a selection of color swatches to choose from. In this example, I am going to choose the blue color at the top of the first column. The color swatches you see are the ones defined in the document color section of default styles. In my example, I have a blue background for my page. 
I can change the default color to a different color using document colors. The blue color swatch is at the top of the list. Click on the color and adjust it using the color picker. When finished, close the color picker and click on save. Wherever the blue color was used in your site, it will now be changed to the new color.